What did you bring us back? <laughs> I mean, 18 fish. <laughs> 18 fish. Good morning, Matthew. Morning. I am tired. We got here last night at uh, about four, five in the morning. Uh, got ourselves anchored and we've just got up. It's now uh, 10 o'clock local time, I think. No, 10 no, it's nine o'clock local time, 10 o'clock UT, which is what we've been working on, but it's uh, got to go back an hour here. So it's nine o'clock. Um, and there's a lot of abandoned ships. Yeah, there's a, there's a ship. On its side there. Yeah. Lift it up. It's got so three black balls, which means it's the ground. I mean that's gone past being a ground now. That's uh It's a miserable day at the minute. Yeah it is, it's quite miserable. Matthew's got never. to tender over. Yeah, I've got to go clear a second. Over there where the marina is. You can't see it very well because the windows are all covered in salt. Salty windows. But we're having a coffee? Show everyone you're living with a tired coffee cup. After checking in, we went for a quick wander around the town. So we're back from town, um, we just had some lunch, got some videos done at the floating bar. Uh, Matthew's trying to get a way of winching up the tender so it's not in the water, so uh, we'll go and have a look. attached to at the back bits. It's just loops of bowlings over the, uh, over the, I don't know what you call them. Oh, the, the back sticky bits. out bits. They're around, they're tied on the front one. That's Beep. What's the beep for? Just to tell you I'm recording. Uh, we're going ashore because we're going to go watch, uh, I think it's Heroes Day. Yeah, 20th of January, Heroes Day, which I guess is... Oh, Matthew, it's a full make... moon. You're going to start howling. It's just above your head. No, it's not. It's it looks, not a full moon. Oh, it looks it on the camera. That's just Matthew's head. Yeah, yeah it's my just head. shining. <laughs> yeah, but we're going ashore, so I'll go get my tender down from my uh, Jack Sparrow anti theft device. Next morning we headed off to a new island just across from Mindelo.
Go on, Matthew. Where are we? We're currently anchored <laughs> at Bea du Tarafal. I'm probably not pronouncing it wrong. Right. Bayado Tarafo. There we go. Bayado <laughs> Tarafo. Got no idea. Fair enough. Well, it's quite nice. We've had some locals come up and tip up and talk to us, and then we had another boat come up, and he wants us to go to his restaurant. Yeah, the restaurant is just there, just the blue one over there. Yeah. Which is really cool. It looks really nice as well. It's got like a yeah. fork and spoon on the front. Let me zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Don't know if I can see this, but, but I'm not sure what. There that we go. Fork and spoon on the front. And the tallest mast. I'm not sure what those things are up there. Well, it's that time of uh, year again. Matthew's decided to take apart the reel because it's not clicking. So we have lots of pieces. It's like a clock in there. What are you doing? Well, I found out what it is. This goes against this to make the clicking noise. The one that this screw must have gone its way out when we call that tuner. Because when we call that tuner, it stopped clicking and popped its way out. So we just need to put it back in so this stays in place. So, uh, Paige, can you go downstairs and get me some Loctite, please? No. <laughs> Nasty bugger. And? It worked. I think. Yeah, clicking again. Awesome. With the fishing reel fixed, we headed to shore, where we were greeted by a local who wanted to show us the island. Oh, yeah. Mike, yeah. what are they making? Grog. Grog. They're my favourite. We were taken up the mountain and shown how they make their local grog. Is it? It's very strong. Let me show you this Get some down, yeah. Yeah, the, the tiny bit. You want to go? It's strong. Yeah, it's strong. It's very, very strong. No? Yeah. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Throw your hair out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come. <laughs> It's better than snaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Yeah. Like. Oh, it's <laughs> like? good. Oh, really good. It yeah. is good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, you took me a little time. Yeah, a little bit. With the mountain climbed and the grog drank, we headed back to Nova. We've got a uh, we've got a nice bottle of water here. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. It's a uh, after the distillery, we decided to buy some of their grog. So uh, and we're just going to shift it into its own glass bottle so we can store it. So uh, some Cape Verdean grog. 
What's going on, Ronald? Uh, we're not going to be able to get ashore today. Uh, it says this sometimes happens. It's some of the swell that gets back washed around. Cause I was either side of this island, it's the Atlantic swell coming down with the trade winds. But we're in the shelter here. And when the wind's right, etc., it, it swings it around. So it's hard to see, but there's some big swell coming in, very far apart. So it's okay for us. But you can see what it does to the beach, look. So high the swell is. Yeah. It literally no. doesn't look much on here. No. No. It's too much for a tender. We'd never get the tender. We might get ashore riding the wave, but we'd never get back off. Not yeah. about capsizing and swimming. So, uh. Fishing it is. Yeah, well, we're planning to go spear fishing today. Take the tender over to the rocks over there and see if we can do some spear fish. Especially after yesterday, we saw someone with a. I think Mike said it, it was a big uh, reef tuna. It's about this big. Not reef tuna, sorry. Reef trout. Was it reef trout, Mike? Coral trout. Coral trout, it's called. So, big orange thing about this big. So, we're going to go see. And he'd speared it, so it must be around here. So, this morning, Mike and Malou have decided to go fishing with the locals. Me and Matt have stayed on board to get some jobs done because obviously we're crossing the Atlantic soon. Um, we. Also. Matthew's talking, hang on. Because there of he is. the. Uh, He's in his pants, as always. Yeah, well, hang on, there's a story to that. Can you see him? Because of the troubled landing on the beach. Uh, we couldn't all go anyway because I couldn't put the tender ashore so they had to jump in and swim so we couldn't all go and that's why I'm like this because we got a bit too close and I had to jump in the water to try and get the tender back out before it capsized but one of the locals helped us uh, he knew how to drive the, I let him drive the tender he knew how to better uh, pilot it so that was good and that's why I'm wet because my shorts got soaked so I'm sat here in my pants drying <laughs> So we have a few jobs to do. We've got to change our sheets back over because these blue ones here that we bought, Just if you can have a look, this is the only like this is the how long they are, um, and obviously that's not enough. So when you pull it, when we uh, let the sail out, even on a, well on a run, on the other side there's literally no rope left. It just on the stopper knot it that's goes it. through the, the ropes are too short. The ropes are too short. Uh, then we've got to do the. Um, the what do you call hatch it seal. the hatch seal because on the way over here me and Matt were laid in bed and a massive wave came over and we got s quite wet and uh, well I was worried but Matthew wasn't and what it is is our back locker not the gas locker because that obviously goes straight out but the locker that goes into our bedroom just pours water straight through because the uh, sealant seal, is uh, gone so we've got to do that and we've got loads of washing out so we look like a laundrette at the minute lots of plans the water here isn't very nice if i zoom in it's like poop that's the one open the holding tank yeah like a massive holding tank and it, it literally goes all the way around like all this is brown you can probably see that yeah you can see the line that's brown poop it seems so it goes all the way i think well i don't know it is pooey though it smells Matthew, have you opened the holding tank? Have I, you released the crap in? That would take me a long Bernie? time to make that much crap in. <laughs> That's like a whole year's worth of holding tank. No swimming today. Something very big has released the crap in. Or it could just be here. It's, Nova's got a dirty bum again. to you singing. You alright? Yeah. Can you come join me? Can do. Okay. What did you bring us back? <laughs> I think 18 fish. <laughs> 18 fish. Yeah. Uh, how many are we going to have now? I think we're going to have the, the two, the three big groupers. Oh yeah. And the snapper looking one. I can't remember what it's called. There's, but there's it your man. Be really good for, for eating. Yeah. There. And we all call them by hand line. Oh, that's good then. Yeah. So the rods were no use then? No. Like, just <laughs> a simple little hook and some bait. And yeah. that's it. So here's what they've uh, caught is now being prepared and served. <laughs> Looks really good. Mm. You ready to eat some, Paige? Yep. So we've just left our um, little anchorage in, um, I don't know where it yep. is. I'll put a little map. But we're just going an hour away. The water's a bit shitty, as you saw yesterday. You know where we're going, Paige? Where? There. We're going to... Just over there, there's some white buildings. 
Oh no, what's still dirty here? Carry but um, this is the first time that the charter, the plot is not going to be much help to us because it's unsounded. Yeah, is that right? So we're going to have to stand at the front and hope that we can see the bottom. But a few of our pilot books have already said that they've been there and anchor next to the gingerbread man. So we shall see. We're going to find a gingerbread man. Have you this poo coming towards you? What? Poo! Where? Here! Evasive maneuvers! Have you other side? Go, go, go! There's poo, there's like proper lots of it. There, that, go that way. Are you lying? No, no, it, literally, you can see it flowing past. There you go. You good? After sailing just around the corner, the boys jumped in for a spearfish. So Matt and Mike didn't manage to catch anything from uh, spearfishing, but one of the locals came over and said that the fish are actually over the other side. So I think tomorrow at 11 they're going fishing with him. But for now we're going to go and check out shore, which uh, should be quite nice. So we're going to go and see what's around. Join us next time for bread baking, boat fun and a bumpy ride.